Are you tired of your base looking like this? I'm going to show you guys six easy steps you can do to make your base look like this to this. This is what a lot of people might start their base out like. I know I've done it in the past, you know, when I was you know, playing Minecraft for the first time, you know, this is where my go-to starter base and things, but I'm going to show you guys how you can improve it. So with the first step here, we're going to be adding some structure blocks. So these are like kind of the corner blocks that's going to help like look like it's really supporting your build. So it's not completely like one kind of block. I use oak logs here as to match with the uh, oak slabs and things. It's pretty common wood to get and it just kind of adds already something extra to the base and just really increases it. Now we're going to throw in this one here for free, these windows here. You might want to go ahead and add a few of those just because it's really going to help with natural lighting so that means less torches and things like that and it also has a little bit more interest to the base. Now for stage two we're going to be looking at depth in our build. So for this bit here we want to instead of putting our oak logs on the corner disc here we're going to move them one diagonally out and put them on this outside bit, bit just here. Now this here does already add so much depth to the building with only doing like one block difference and then as well here with our windows we're going to add some panes instead of the glass blocks. Now as you can see here this is already added an extra different little bit of depth in here without even doing anything extra and it's actually more beneficial for you to use glass panes than it is glass blocks you get more out of them so this way here we've got two blocks and we've got three layers of like depth i suppose we've got one two and then the panes is three so we're just doing that simple little addition you've already made your base look three thousand times better now for the roof a lot of people just go ahead and use like a plain roof like this bit just here or just you know just cover it like this now it's pretty simple to do something like this and it's pretty like easy to get the materials for it as well so basically what you want to do is start with a stair here and then do an unders upside down a regular upside down a regular and meet in the middle and just continue it all the way across and then you get this nice like kind of archway in here and if we come inside we've got this nice bit of headroom as well so we can jump we can use our lighting up there we have extra room up here to put some storage or something like that or even decorate it as well as you like now this here still looks a bit plain for my liking so you can go ahead and texture the roof so that's going to be step four we're going to be texturing the roof with some different materials so we can do an outside trim with some spruce or you can get some cobblestone, whatever you like. Just something else to kind of break up this oak kind of slabs all the way around. Something else I like to do is just go ahead and put in some uh, full blocks in these boxes here and here instead of stairs and just kind of makes the roof look a bit more interesting. Just do it random places and it really helps out a lot. Now this here is another like roof design if you want to do something something a bit more interesting and kind of really tall designs and things it's really up to you what you just want to do here it gives you a lot of headroom and a lot of room for your torches and things up top this one's really easy we're just going to do a stair and upside down Oop, there we go and then we're going to do a regular and a stair on top of that and then we can do a block as well just there and then we can do a regular there as well and then you just want to go ahead and meet that all the way into the middle and you'll get something like this and extend it all the way across now you can also do the whole roof out of spruce or you can trim it as well it's really up to you guys now we're on to step five instead of having all these plain oak walls around the place we want to throw in some oak stripped logs around and this kind of really textures up the whole place like it just really adds a nice extra layer and interest to the build it gives you something else to look at when you look it's not just all these plain logs and things you can do it to your floor your walls it just kind of really brings a place to life it's starting to really get there you don't want that there and it's really helpful now this is a big jump from the last step but this here up here is details so really this is where you want to go kind of kind of crazy with it i suppose we want to add pathways a lot of people just add like you know leave their grass blocks around the place but here we can just go ahead and use a shovel and right click and you get this path block you can add some coarse dirt some podzels some spruce logs i think they really help with the pathing you can go ahead and add some nice like goal of green like thing like an overhang here and then add some fences to support we can add some torches we can add some composters with a bush on top you know really brings the place to life inside here we have storages like you know not just up here we're not just floating so they're not just sitting there floating like that they've got some nice support under them yeah we got all our you know main resource things that we need crafting items we can go ahead and use some like um, a smoker so there's a little trick you can do here and just add a campfire block underneath and put it on top just there now it really adds a nice little bit of interest to the whole build just with doing something really simple like that so it's a really good idea to do that there 
And then on the sides here, you can go ahead and add like some slabs, some trap doors, and really add an extra little bit of depth to this whole building rather than keeping it all flat. On the back side here, we can add a nice trap door trim along here, because we just did this here, it's gonna look still very flat. So you can go ahead and add a nice trap door all the way along here to really bring some interest to the build. And then I just want to add some uh, fences up here. You don't have to do that. This is like an extra little something I decided to do. And then it's added, you know, some more um, compost around with some bushes. And don't be afraid to bone meal up the outside as well. Bring some, you know, flowers and tall grass into the build and everything like that. So, yeah, I think that there is going to wrap up the video today, guys. It's six simple steps you can do to improve your base. So if you have enjoyed it all, please leave a like, subscribe, and the notification bell. And be sure to uh, come back for the next video. Oh, 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 oh,